Yes, I think Nigerians should, should notice this and follow up this protest. The government, especially the military, I had that they vote to stop this protest. They should know it's, it is better for them to stop whatever they want to do because attacking us will only expose their atrocities. It, it, it's laughable for the military to say they want to stop peaceful protest. This is our constitutional right. I think it's best, the best thing for the military is to tell those that are, are responsible for keeping our leader in their detention to free him. Because there is no amount of intimidation or killing that will stop this protest. Okay, yo, this is, is he speaking to us? Is he speaking to us? He's going to for Voice of America. Okay. Uh, so, so the masses should notice this. Today we are out and this protest was, is peaceful from the beginning to the end. Even though I don't know what will happen later. But it is peaceful because the, the security forces did not attack the protesters. So people should know that we have no intention and we have no, 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 no reason for attacking anybody and we have never attacked anybody and we are not going to attack anybody. These police officers, innocent police officers that we are injured, should know that it is their masters that injured them because they want to get uh, a reason for attacking us. They, they are looking for a justification and that is why they open fire at their own colleague and, and shoot them. Because we know who are responsible for keeping our leader. We know those that are responsible for killing our friends and, and our, 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 our colleague. We know those that are responsible for poisoning Sheikh Ibrahim Zazaki. Yes. And it, it went through so many uh, brutality by the Joint Security Forces. They have killed two people, uh, Mahmoud Umar Sakafa from Suleja and one Jafar Mikhail from Latvia. We are mercilessly killed by Nigerian security forces at the gate of National Assembly. We went to National Assembly to meet the people in the, uh, the parliament because it is their responsibility to call on anybody who goes against the constitution of Nigeria to order. So we went there we rest, uh, with regard to what happens last week and these people, they attack us. So they attack and they kill two people and they injure so many. So many people who are receiving treatment, there are people who, who, whom were shot at their, their life and they, 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 they have so many uh, fractures, they are receiving treatment. And the, uh, among those, I had uh, some police officers who were injured. And people should know that we are not armed and we will never be armed to, to attack innocent police. If there is anything, retaliation, anything, repercussion, the people, the perpetrators of Zaira Massacre should face it, not innocent, oppressed Nigerian police officers. We have no, no weapons and people testified. Today this protest is peaceful and it, it, it lasted for, for almost two hours. There was no chaos, there was no, no violence because the security forces did not attack us. So people should know that. It is only when security attack this protest that they make violence. And this violence comes from the security. The burning of vehicles, the vandalization of, of all these things are, 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 are perpetrated by security forces, not us. But the, the allegation is that uh, your members are still carrying guns. From where? From where? Do if we, let me tell you, if we are armed, the army, the security forces know that if we are armed, they can't face us. But that's not our intention. That is not the teachings of Sheikh Ibrahim Zazaki. The teachings of Sheikh Ibrahim Zazaki is to save life, not to waste life. 